This is a time to honor our country's finest and bravest. Happy birthday to the U.S. Marine Corps for 245 years of service and happy Veterans Day to all veterans. I encourage each of us to take a moment to reflect on the sacrifices that our service members bear for all Americans and for the principles of democracy. Our heroes continue to serve in a variety of ways that benefit our communities. I salute all veterans as well as current servicemen and women. I express my sincerest thanks to them and their families for their dedication and commitment and for their continued service to protect our freedom. The Florida Keys and the college have indeed benefited from the contributions of many veterans over the years. Each one deserves special recognition. Today, I salute one veteran who leads the college's growing and increasingly valuable nursing and health sciences programs, U.S. Army Sergeant Dr. Carla Fry. Prior to joining the CFK family in 2019, Fry led an accomplished military career that led to continued service through healthcare and education professions. The daughter of a Vietnam soldier, Fry felt the call to serve early in life. After graduating from her Canton, Ohio high school one year early, she enlisted in the Army as a medic and was soon stationed in Fort Carson, Colorado. Very early in her training, Fry learned the lessons that most resonate with her today. Be tough and accept challenges. She says, I was a 17-year-old, 99-pound girl. I was already at a disadvantage, so I couldn't just be good. I had to be great. I had to learn to be mentally tough and to say yes to whatever opportunity came my way in order to prove myself, says Fry. Through that philosophy, she developed a broad set of skills beyond her primary duties as a medic. They range from mechanics to making eyeglasses to field sanitation testing. Her work earned her an expert field medic badge. Fry's high test scores resulted in a seat at the prestigious West Point Preparatory School. After her time at West Point, she transferred to Fort Hamilton in Brooklyn, where she worked in their health clinic during the height of the HIV AIDS epidemic. During her time in New York, she helped open a new pediatric hospital for which she earned an Army Commendation Medal. Dr. Fry was then sent to Fort Gordon in Georgia, where she attended school to become a licensed practical nurse, also known as 91 Charlie in Army terms. She remained in Georgia and worked as a critical care nurse at Eisenhower Army Medical Center when Operation Desert Storm hit. She desperately wanted to be deployed to the Gulf alongside her fellow troops. Instead, she was required to remain stateside to care for critically wounded soldiers who were transported to her hospital from the war zone. By the end of her service in 2002, Fry earned the rank of sergeant and with support of the GI Bill, she then pursued her educational goals. She earned an ad undergraduate degree at Kent State University, a Master of Science in Nursing at Jacksonville University, and a PhD at the University of Florida. Prior to her position at CFK, Dr. Fry served as the undergraduate director of the Nathan M. Bisque Center for Pre Professional Studies, the RN to BSN program director, and a tenured associate professor of nursing at Jacksonville University. In 2018, Dr. Fry was awarded a prestigious Fulbright Scholarship which gave her the opportunity to teach, conduct research, and assist with curriculum development at the University of Belize for a semester. Upon her return from Belize, Dr. Fry and her family relocated to Key West full-time. Using a Veterans Affairs business loan, she and her partner Kurt, also an Army veteran, opened the Courthouse Deli and Wits Frozen Custard in the heart of Old Town Key West. There, Fry is known not for her academic skills, but instead as a business owner and a sandwich maker. On the CFK campus, Dr. Fry is known for her innovative thinking and dedication to students. During her tenure, the college's nursing and health sciences programs are flourishing. A record number of students enrolled in the RN and RN to BSN bachelor's degree programs. Dr. Fry's efforts have led to expanded community health care partnerships, as well as the development of new phlebotomy and medical assistance certificates, which is set to launch next year. Her leadership and contributions in training, 
Healthcare professionals are especially valuable to the community now during the era of COVID-19. It is with great honor that on this Veterans Day 2020, the College of the Florida Keys and I salute Army Sergeant Dr. Carla Fry. She exemplifies the vast talent, grit, selflessness, and grace of the U.S. Army. Thank you for your continuous service to our country, state, and community. May such achievements, sacrifice, and generosity serve as an inspiration for all. I salute you, Dr. Fry.